Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from SimpleProgrammer.com. I am in the Tuscany region, Toscana, in uh, Italy, just outside of Florence, and I'm recording a bunch of videos today because I'm just in that, that video recording mood here. So, I got this question that I thought I'd answer about quitting YouTube. <laughs> I, I didn't know this. I didn't realize. I was like, well, where's my Eli the Computer Guy videos? And I've been, you know, I've been on vacation, or sort of vacation. It's not vacation. It's, it's like... I'm, I'm traveling, I'm gaining more experience, right? A, a writer, which, you know, I, I write videos, I write books, uh, has to have life experience. So I'm gaining some life experience, I'm seeing the world a little bit. So I didn't know that Eli the computer guy quit YouTube. I, I heard him grumbling about it. Man, I tried to put an offer out to him. It still stands, like, let's join forces, man. Let's, uh, like, we can, I've got the monetary engine that you need and you've got a big channel and big subscribership and personality, right? We both got the personality, but I've got I've got some other pieces, right? The automation, the system, right? And you've got uh, you've got a bigger following, so let's merge together and let's you know, make some really awesome shit. So that offer still stands. If you're watching this, Eli, let's do it, man. Give me a fucking email or call. And uh, no, I'm serious. Like I, we can really kill it. Like we can definitely make it profitable. And that's what I'm gonna talk about here. So anyway, I didn't realize he quit. Uh, I like Eli, he's awesome. I did an interview with Eli. Actually, you know, he graced me with his presence on the channel. And I'm not saying that sarcastically, I'm saying that because the dude didn't have to pay any attention to me. I think I had like 40,000 subscribers or something. And he was like, yeah, I'll come on your channel. And I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome of the, of, the, of the guy. And not only that, he was wearing my shirt in a bunch of his videos, I sent him a shirt. And that's pretty cool too. So, uh, so I got this question. Hey John, uh, Eli the computer guy just quit YouTube. Do you think YouTube is dying as a content creator's platform? Do you think there's still career worth pursuing in YouTube? So, I'm gonna stay on YouTube because YouTube for me was never about YouTube. <laughs> YouTube for me was always about one thing, exposure, right? I like to expose myself on YouTube. Uh, it's exposure, it's reaching people. I mean, when I look at my search results on YouTube and I see how people are finding my videos, it's through search. It's its not through my own website, it's not through Google mostly, it's through YouTube search, it's through re recommended videos and suggested videos and stuff. So it's discovery process. So to me, YouTube is not about money. It's about exposure, right? And, and it's also, I mean, it's just the place that I'm putting my fucking videos, right? I, that has a good exposure, so I get a lot of, like, here's the thing, here's the thing, the long-term strategy. You get enough of an audience, you get enough exposure, you get enough of a following, you can make money. That's the easy part, right? I know that Eli maybe had some had some issues with that, but that's why I'd like to join force. I could, you know, I, I can, that other part is, I think it's easy. I think he's already done the hard work. He's been, you know, there every day, fucking making videos, making good content. He's got the wisdom of the world, right? Which is hard to find. There's a lot of smart people, but very few wise people today. A lot of, he's a philosopher of the day, right? That's good. That's the hard part. The easy part is making money. So, YouTube for me is not about the the uh, the easy part, right? <laughs> or, or sorry, it's 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 not about the easy part. Yes, it's not about the making money. So I don't care if YouTube demonetizes all my fucking videos. I mean, it'll hurt a little bit. I won't be able to. You know, it, it offsets the cost of, of that I pay my editor to edit the videos and and, and do this this work. It doesn't fully pay that that paycheck yet, but it eventually will. Uh, but it's not about that, right? Now, not to say that simple programming isn't about making money. Of course it is. It's about reaching people, though, and that's why you you got to make more. Use it as an engine, right? You got to make more money so you can get more reach, so you can make more money, so you can get more reach. So you build an empire, right? Let's build an empire. Let's build some things that last longer than our own lives, right? That make an impact on people, right? And that's that's the best way. Let's change the world by changing people, by giving people opportunity, by changing their mindsets. Regardless of what you think about that, my point is this, is that for me, YouTube is just exposure. And that's the strategy you gotta have, right? I mean, what the hell, if you think that you're gonna make money on YouTube from the stupid fucking AdSense that they give you, oh, no, even from sponsorship, I mean, I do some sponsorship on YouTube, I try to make a little bit of extra money because it, eases the, the bill. I mean, simple program is an expensive operation to run it. It's kind of crazy that, that I would say that, but I mean, our, our run rate is somewhere, you know, 20,000 or so a month, 
A month! <laughs> That's what it costs to run this fucking, to keep this shop, fucking shop open. More than that, per perhaps. Uh, that's expensive. We gotta make some money. So how do we make money? Well, YouTube gets us eyes. We put, put, I put a lot of free content out here on YouTube. YouTube is free content. I give you a lot of value. I change your mindset. I change your life, right? A lot of people email me. They said, I started watching your videos when I was like, you know, 18 years old. Four years later, I got this job making $150,000 a year, $200,000 a year. I'm buying all your fucking products now. <laughs> or I did buy them along the way, right? That's the big payoff, right? So it's getting the exposure to be able to sell some products or services, right? I haven't even just begun. I want to do some live events. I want to do like, you know what I mean? You build the audience and they'll like, you guys want to buy some shit from me? You want me to create some exclusive stuff for you? To write new books for you? To create video courses on how to overcome your fears and how to get in shape and to get fucking biceps, right? How to do this stuff? How to be successful in life, right? All these things. Yeah, you want me to do that right? And you want to pay for it. You got your money ready, some of you, and you're willing to pay for it. That's how you make money. That's how you, that's, that's the point of YouTube. The point of YouTube is not to get stupid AdSense payments or to even do sponsorship deals. I mean, that may help and it may supplement it, but the point is to build exposure, to build an audience, to get a message, right? To build a following, to build a personal fucking brand, right? I have this course. I'm going to plug it now because it's called how to market yourself as a software developer. That's what the whole thing is about, is how to build a personal brand, and that's what's gonna get you the money, is, is, is when you have that brand, when you have that following, when you have that reputation. And so that's what I'm building here on YouTube. So I don't care what YouTube fucking does, as long as they let my videos play. If they stop playing my videos, then obviously I'll go somewhere else, if they start deleting my videos, I don't think they're gonna do that. YouTube likes me. I link to a lot of videos in my videos. I link to other people's videos, right? People who watch my, my channel stay on YouTube a long time. So they like that. They like their advertisers to, to get exposure and paid. So I think YouTube likes me, even though I say fuck. You know, someone's watching out for me over there on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, I'm not quitting YouTube. And just to answer the question, so is it is it viable as a, for a content creator? I want to tell you a couple things here. One of them is that YouTube isn't the gold mine it was, right? Here's the thing about gold rushes is that when you show up late, there's less gold, right? So the people that show up first to the gold rush, this is what they get. They get buckets full of gold, right? They have wheelbarrows full of gold and they don't know what to do with all this fucking gold. Then the second wave of people come and they're expecting wheelbarrows full of gold. So they sell all their shit. They, they're like, oh, it's just free money they're giving out. They don't expect to do any hard work and they just expect to get the gold. Like the, the first people that, that were the first prospectors that discovered the, the claims there, okay? And those people, they, bust their ass or they don't bust their ass they waste a lot of money and they go home broke then there's the third group that shows up and these are the people that are like yeah uh, the, uh, they see opportunity right they, what they, so they say it's like huh all these people they're shutting down these gold mines because they're not so profitable anymore I can get that land for really fucking cheap huh I could yeah so they show up and they buy those old abandoned mines for cheap and they, uh, they, they, they get a good deal. And they get a good deal on all that used equipment that people aren't using, those, those gold prospectors that were in the gold rush. And they, you know, they, they slowly mine out. They, they look for the, the, the missing mother loads, the veins, right? They figure out a way to mine, to get the gold from the river, to pan it out, right? To, to extract all that gold from there. And it takes them a long time. And they don't get like super rich really fast, okay? But slow and steady, right? They keep on going, they're consistent, they're committed, right? After five years, somehow they're sitting on a nice pile of wealth there and they, they've built up something, okay? And maybe, you know, after it all dies down and there's nothing left in the gold mines at all, they turn it into like a, a, a tour, <laughs> a tourist destination. And they, you know, have like a little gift shop there and they sell guided tours and audio tours for the, the abandoned gold mine. and. You know, and they make some restaurants and make some touristy things there and they make some money, okay? So why am I telling you this story? Why am I talking about this? Because what I'm saying is that this is what happens, right? And this is what's happened with YouTube. The, the first people that got on YouTube, I wish I was one of them, I wasn't. Uh, you know, they, they really did well. They got millions of subscribers, right? Because they were first and they had so much videos and so much SEO juice on YouTube and stuff. And then a bunch of people came in and they like tried to like, and it didn't work for them as much because they weren't so fast to the to it. And then there's people like me that came in kind of later and didn't see it as, I'd never thought I was gonna get rich on YouTube, but I thought, man, I can grow this fucker, right? 
And look, over 100,000 subscribers, gonna keep growing, gonna get up to a million someday, probably. And uh, you know, when I have a million subscribers, I'm doing pretty good. You're making some pretty good money, right? But I'm patient, I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to buy the other people's shit on fire sale. And so, other people are gonna quit, they're gonna give up. They're gonna say, I can't make a fucking fortune. And I'm just gonna say, okay, fine, I'll buy your, I'll buy your old mining equipment. So, this is what you need to be. You need to be that prospector. You need to be the third group that shows up. You wanna make a career on YouTube? Yes, you can. You gonna be fucking rich and famous on YouTube? No, you're not. Maybe, but probably not, okay? The gold rush is gone. You wanna go find another gold rush? Go ahead. But there's real value here left, right? Because after the gold rush, that's when the real value is left, right? There's still a lot of mines. There's still a lot of gold in those mines. You just gotta get it. It's harder to get. You gotta extract that. So that's what I'm saying is like, you wanna make a career on YouTube? Yes. But expect to do a lot of hard work, expect to make a lot of videos, and expect it to take a lot of time, right? So there, there, there you go. And uh, you know, I don't see myself quitting YouTube, at least not for anything YouTube does. If someday I say, you know what, I'm tired of fucking doing videos, then I might, then I might quit. But it won't be because of what YouTube does. Because I, I, I don't give a shit what they do. <laughs> as long as I can build an audience and keep following here, as long as people can play my videos, that's, you know, that's what I care about. Now, at some point, will I maybe put my videos out to my own channel first, like my own medium and, and whatnot? I've thought about that and then maybe I will, but that's not so important. Again, what I said in this video, think about that. If you, there, there's no reason to shy away from, uh, the only reason why you would shy away from YouTube is if you're afraid of hard work and, and time and commitment. The platform still exists, just like blogging, just like podcasting, just like anything, you know, writing books. If you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to do enough of it and put in enough time, you're gonna be successful. Those ways all still work for making money and becoming successful. All right, that's all I got for you today. If you click the subscribe button, you will subscribe. <laughs> Surprise. If you click the bell, you will super subscribe. Click the bell to see what that means. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.